Welcome back to another show and tell video. Today we're looking at a now vintage uh, kind of a desk tool measuring device. Uh, it's actually a proportional scale and this one is set up in rotary form. And, uh, it's kind of a uh, uh, evolution from let's say slide rule calculations and then now with electronics we can just simply do uh, formula calculations in programmable calculators or just uh, through basic uh, arithmetic and algebra to uh, come up with uh, ratios for scaling objects uh, so, if we were to, say, pick a real-life example, I just happen to pick a random project that's been on the back burner. So let's say I'm building a scale model. In this case, I just happen to pick uh, a classic M977HEMTT, uh, one of the 10-ton multi-axle, multi-drive vehicles and uh, I pulled out the instructions and let's say I want to uh, scratch build some extra parts to uh, super detail the model and here I have uh, not only the pieces themselves to go off of but let's say a fairly accurate side profile to give me a non-distorted uh, non-parallax uh, starting point to get measurements from and let's say I do know uh, the dimensions of uh, the vehicle itself the dimensions of the parts of the scale model as well as the dimensions of the diagram through these three sets of dimensions I can get a pretty accurate uh, set of dimensions to do a scalar set and therefore be able to take any real life objects and measurements that I want to scale up or down and therefore uh, based on actual proportions against the three sets I can actually then take any object and adjust it to uh, the scale that would uh, be appropriate to add to say the model so since this is a 1 and 35 scale, so meaning, for example, uh, one foot on the real life truck would actually be 35 times smaller on the model itself. Therefore, as we look at, say, you know, a tire, this is obviously not real real uh, life size but if you were to multiply the, the diameter of this tire 35 times you would have a real life size tire so let's say I wanted to add uh, for simplest uh, definition some sort of tool to the side and I already know the dimensions to be let's say to make this easy since this is 35th scale 35 inches so already we should assume through simple math that it would be one inch long on the model itself but just to play along with the scale and how we'll use let's look at the instructions real quick and this one just happens to be made by the see-through ruler company and uh, this one uh, has a little bit of contact info at the bottom, instructions, uh, nothing on the back side, and you can see it's actually just a bunch of uh, printed rulings around uh, both the uh, perimeters of the uh, discs that are attached along a common uh, center point axis. 
So instructions say to find new proportional size, line up both present dimensions on inner and outer scales, one above the other. The new dimensions will line up automatically in the same relative position. Next, to find a percent of enlargement or reduction, line up present size on inner scale under new size on the outer scale. So that's your inner scale here, and this is your outer scale here. Percentage will appear in the window opening. Here's your window right there. So if you look at all the uh, rulings on the outside, here would be, say, size of original, reproduction size, and around the window, number of times of reduction, which would line up along this bottom center point here in the window, and a percentage of original size would be at the center point of the top of the window. So if I were to dial up... Uh, you know, the measurements of our, our uh, hypothetical tool that we want to add and scale down, and we know it's already 35 inches long, that would be the size of the original. So we can see this goes from one inch through a scale all the way around up to, uh, I believe, 100 inches up there. And you can see how it's gradually expanding as it goes around. So 35 inches, and we want to bring it down to reproduction size of 1 inch. So 1 in 35, and then any other object that we actually wanted to, you know, scale that some otter. Um, other odd, how about that, making up words, to uh, convert, then uh, we could actually just apply this uh, equation here. So this actually would be about, I believe, 2.85%. I did cheat and look it up on the calculator because I've actually used this conversion factor a lot in uh, making uh, parts. Uh, that would be uh, your, your equation there. Well, let's say you're in 48th scale. Well, then you would actually dial it around from the 1 to your 48 position right there. And then it would also give you the numbers along there for your uh, reduction. So I'm just going to apply even up to 72 scale but not 144 so at that point you would have to do a little bit of juggling of numbers uh, for the really tiny models but at that point I'm not sure how much scratch building of parts you would be doing on a scale model really that small unless it was uh, more of a like a ship per se but then you're also modeling meters down to almost the size of millimeters so you're still losing a lot of detail anyways. What seems to be small detail on the ship would actually be quite large in reality. Things like railings, uh, uh, the mesh on antenna, that sort of thing. Things that are photo etch parts, etc. But I just want to give you a quick look at uh, one, a example of how a real life application as a hobby to use a proportional scale, and this can be also used for other crafts and uh, actual construction, large uh, scale, you know, building, etc., and planning, etc., so you know how much uh, space, volume, things will actually take up without actually having to uh, model them out or uh, actually have to punch in. A bunch of numbers, a quick uh, spin of the dial, and a couple of quick uh, entries in the calculator can give you your answers real quick. So, it's been another show and tell video. Feel free to check out other videos on the channel on vintage mill surf tools and other expanded topics. We also do unboxing videos as well as a selection of book review, media reviews. We also do a series of curios for the curious videos on more artsy type objects. Feel free to check all those out. 
feel free to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. See you next time.